Hi folks, just uh, give an example why we require the low loader, I'll call it. Um, canoe, bu buggy, trolley is a fashionable word. Um, we had to keep it low because these gates don't open. So when we, if we get the canoe out and bring it along, we have to keep it low. Because we've only got, we've got about 70 centimetres is what the canoe will take up the height. And this case, 74 centimetres is all the space we've got. And as you notice it goes down. Right? Some of them are lower than that. But we should make it okay. So that, that is why, that is why we wanted the low loader trolley for the Canadian canoe. So that we can make sure we can get under. Got, got the idea? And uh, if we make any mistakes, there. And behind Elizabeth, you see the reason why we've got to stop and not go over the weir into the water. So we have to bypass everything. Give it people a wave. Elizabeth don't want to wave too hard in case she goes over. Hey there. Hey. Back again. Um, as I said, we uh, took the last bogey, trolley, trolley, up to the um, canoe club and as you saw, we enjoyed ourselves. Uh, the trolley was excellent, the dummy run there. They took a Canadian canoe weighing about 75 pounds through heavy, wet, thick grass. So it works and it works fine. It's rather wide, so we decided to make another one. And I'd just like to show you how we go about the first part of it with the axles and the wheels. Incidentally, do you like the new back door? It's been repaired, you know? No. No, oh, well, right. Um, so first of all, let's just put on industrial gloves. This isn't a little lecture, safety, etc. If you're adult people, you know that's how it goes. So I'll put them on anyway, if you don't mind. The simplicity of this is quite free. First we put on a simple Jubilee clip. At the bottom somewhere. Bear with me. This is a uh, five millimeter. We don't have any means of breaking through the pipe, metal pipe, so we're using Jubilee clips and a screwdriver. That's one on. The next thing we want on is a washer which we take out here, I should have had prepared. One washer. Not too difficult. One wheel. Make sure we put it on the right way. It's a very good, good tight fit. Should be very thin. Don't go away. You should still be taking the wheel down further. We will do. Put this axle up further. So that's just pulled the axle up against the washer. We wheel up against the washer as tight as we can. Next, let's drop another washer on it. Here we are. One washer down. Now let's hold that on as again, all the only tools I've got. Let's take up a bit. The 
what we're doing, we're holding everything in place here with these, these clips. Obviously you can't go in the highway with this type of arrangement, but for the canoe trolley, it's proven to be good to work. Take the weight, and over terrible terrain, thick, thick glass it did. Very good. There's one wee thing I'll mention here. When you add the plate to it, you don't want the axle slipping along. Sorry, it's too, too the wee movie in that, you know. That's the neighbours, you know. I can't, the neighbors. I can't even see them. <laughs> That's it, going to put a workshop. It was terrible, wasn't it? Now, there we have one wee line with equipment we have available. No problem. When we add the tray to hold, we will not want it to slip up and down axle. So we pre think that out. We have another washer, which you won't pay attention to at the moment. We have another Jubilee clip, which will be on here. have to use two of these because I said we don't want it to go one way or the other so we will lock it on. I don't know if you have this trouble the same as me. If you ever find a way of opening these, do phone me, you know, let me know. So that's that one on. Now we'd have to have that on and then another Jubilee clip. So when we add the tray, when we add the tray, we will be able to handle that. Now, next we have a Jubilee clip, which we put on just enough to hold for a minute or two. It's tied up to hold its place. Notice I've taken my glove off, and she's not really very clever. So I'll put it back on again. My glove. That's fine, let's take it down a wee bit. But so is it, we can control it. Now then, we'll put the washer on next, which we are resting against the wheel. Stand to rain, we'll have it done before the rain. There's the washer on. And now, we want the wheel. So now we put the wheel on, which we let drop down as far as we want for the moment. Now we've got a final no, hold it with a washer to go on first. He's all nearly missed the deliberate mistake. Another one. Kitty's got a workshop with fish nets. The washer. And then the Jubilee clip. Which we put on at the extreme end. Right. Don't go away. Don't go away. One, still just one screwdriver. We're using a lot of tools and uh, equipment. I suppose it would look awfully clever and classy and difficult, but this is all there is to it. But to me, it's difficult, you know. It may not be classy, but difficult. It's certainly probably does the job, that's the main thing. So, this one we now secure tightly. We want to maximise the use of the axle, its length as best we can. So, we take it straight to the edge. That's good, that's good. That'll be tight. Now, of course, we'll put the watch on, remember. So if we now turn up, the washer goes down, down comes the wheel, down goes the Jubilee clip. We now secure that Jubilee clip with it. Obviously, we want it to be swinging down the way. That's good, it's running quite free.
suppose you could tell a joke or something, but if you, if you all tell me one, because nobody ever laughs at me. <laughs> Not me. There you are. From it. Stage one, all done. You know have excellent wheels. Proven solid. Well, if you want to pretend, oh yeah, achy, 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 achy. Olympics, London, here we come. Right, just send the medal on now, that'll do. <laughs> Can't be bothered with all the effort. Thank you very much. <laughs>